Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to make an RFID based door lock. With this system, we can unlock our door by RFID tag and passcode. We can add 5 different tag IDs in this system. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels do subscribe them as well and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. First, let's see how this system works. This is the block diagram of this system. RFID reader module is connected to Arduino to read the RFID tags. Keypad is used to enter passcode and commands. LCD display is used to display the information. A relay is used to open and close the lock. Whenever a tag is detected by RFID tag, Arduino compares the ID of the tag with its stored IDs. If the ID is equal to any stored ID, Arduino turns on the relay for 3 seconds, which will open the door lock. The door lock can also be opened by entering a passcode. The default passcode is 1234. Now let's see the connections of this circuit. So these are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect Arduino, after that connect RFID module and connect its positive supply pin to 3.3 volt pin of Arduino and its ground pin to ground, its MOSI pin to D11 pin of Arduino, its MISO pin to D12 pin of Arduino, its SCK pin to D13 pin of Arduino, its reset pin to D9 pin of Arduino, its SDA pin to D10 pin of Arduino. After that, connect 16x2 LCD and connect its VCC pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground, its SDA pin to A4 pin of Arduino, its SCL pin to A5 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3x4 keypad and connect its pins to D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7 pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its anode to remaining coil pin of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to anode of the diode and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to A0 pin of Arduino and its other pin to pin number 2 of the relay. After that, connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to normally open terminal of the relay and its other pin to common terminal of the relay. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's upload the code to Arduino and test the project. First, we need to download the library for the module. Go to Google and search for the library for the module. Download the library, 
Now open the Arduino IDE and go to Sketch, then go to Include Library and select Add Zip Library. Now select the zip file of the library. Now open the code and upload it to the Arduino. So we have uploaded the code to the Arduino. Now let's test the project.
so that's it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed this video for more videos like that stay tuned and i will see you in the next video